Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Apple has recently released their iOS 14 public beta. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get the iOS 14 public beta onto your iOS devices for free. So keep watching. Now this tutorial will work for any iOS device that's able to run iOS 13 and for a full list of compatible devices just look right over here. Also if you guys downloaded the earlier developer beta profile, I recommend you guys to switch into the public beta profile as this will improve the performance and if you guys did, I'll show you guys how to do this later in the video so keep watching. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you'll be the first one to know all the tips, tutorial hacks and much more. And hint hint, I'll be posting a new video about all the new iOS 14 features so you'll want to be the first one to know about it. Feel free to comment down below any questions or problems that you may have about anything related to tech and I'll try my best to reply to them. And you can also connect with me on Instagram at jishk11 and now let's get right into it. Alright guys, so the first thing that you want to do is open up a web browser and then type beta.apple.com and here you're going to click on this blue sign up button and now it's going to ask for a face ID or a touch ID verification it's going to click continue and once that's done it's going to redirect you to this page which says um, the guide for public beta so if you're not if you choose which iOS device you're d updating so I'm since I'm doing it for the iPhone I'm gonna choose the iOS but if I, if I was on my iPad I was gonna choose the iPad OS but since I'm doing the iPhone I'm gonna choose the iOS and I'm gonna click here where it says enroll your iOS device and here the Apple is going to be talking about some stuff which you should do before you upgrade your iOS. Alright, so the first thing that you want to make sure is that you have a recent iCloud backup. And to make sure that you have that, all you have to do is go back to your settings and click on iCloud right here. And just click on iCloud again. And here you're going to click on iCloud backup. And if you can see iCloud backup is turned on. And make sure you click on backup now. But since I already have a recent backup, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to go back to the Safari. And the second step that I'm just going to tell you, make sure you have at least 5 GB of space available because this takes about 4 GB but it's good to have 1 GB of buffer space. And the third tip is to make sure your battery is above 50% and right now I have about 99%. So now that you've taken all the precautionary steps, you can proceed with updating your iOS. So all you have to do is click on where it says download profile. And here you're going to be redirected with the prompt saying, do you want to download a profile? You're going to click allow. And you're going to click on close now. Now you're going to go to your settings and go all the way back. And you, here you can see it says profile downloaded. And I'm going to click on install. Enter your passcode. And now just agree to this once you've read it. And click on install. Click on install one last time. And now your iOS 14 public beta and file has been installed successfully. Now that you've successfully downloaded the iOS 14 public beta profile, all you have to do is go back to general and click on software update. And as you can see, iOS 14 public beta 2 software update. Then click on download install and enter your passcode. And you're gonna first agree to their terms of condition. This will take some time, so come back and make sure your iPhone is charging and it's connected to the internet. 2,000 years later. All right guys, now that I've successfully downloaded and installed this beta version, I'm gonna choose my language and click on continue. And I'm gonna once again accept to their terms and conditions. And there we go, welcome to iPhone. Alright guys, as you can see, I've successfully downloaded and installed iOS 14 on my iOS device. But in future video, I'll be showing you guys all the new features of iOS 14 with like all the app library and everything. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave the notification bell on so you'll be the first one to know about it. But let me just quickly guys show you about this feedback app which appears on your iOS device once you download the public beta profile. This feedback app is basically where you submit feedback to Apple developers and Apple about any bugs of iOS 14 public beta and they will try to fix it for the fall release. And as stated in the beginning, I'm going to show you guys how to switch from the developer beta profile to the public beta profile if you don't know how to do that. And all you have to do for that is go to settings, scroll down to general, scroll down to profile, and in here if you have the developer beta profile, 
just click on it and then remove it and then here I don't have it so I don't have to do anything and for future updates it'll be like public beta 3 as a matter of fact there is public beta 3 and there'll be public beta 4 public beta 5 and so on and for that you don't have to keep downloading a new profile for each public beta all you have to do is just can go to your settings in general and click on software update and then update it there and but the only time when you have to download a new profile is when there's a new ios like a completely new ios like ios 15. so there you have it guys hopefully this tutorial helped you and now you have ios 14 when you on your ios devices and if it did please give this video a like and share this video with friends and family and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and feel free to leave a comment down below if you came across any problems and i'll try my best to reply to them that's it for this video check out my previous videos which are linked on screen especially this one right here and it's really good if you want to learn how to download applications on your older ios devices and i'll see you guys soon